What's up guys, it's your boy Jay from Jay's Films, and today I'm gonna to show you what I do with my drone footage. I get this question a lot. How do you transform or how do you make your footage from your DJI Spark or your Mavic Air look so cinematic? Well, you color correct it and color grade it, but first what you have to do is convert it. So that's what I'm gonna show you today. I'm gonna to use DaVinci Resolve 15, and if you don't have it, go ahead and download it. It's free, so here we are. I'm gonna control F and I'm gonna press place just so you can see what we're working with. I know you can see the helicopter there, but you can take that later on. You can just track that off. So it looks pretty good to begin with. I shot it Cine like D with no ND filters or polar filters at all, just by the drone itself. So yeah, it looks great, but I want it to look better. So let's go ahead and dig in. Go to the color tab. We're gonna create three nodes, Alt S, Alt S, Alt S. We're gonna click the open effects if it's not open already and it's already highlighted for color space transform. Drag and drop that to the second node. We're gonna go to that second node. We're gonna go for input gamma. We're gonna go rec 709. I know it is not rec 709 and this probably doesn't make a lot of sense but it works for me. So rec 709 as the input gamma and we're gonna go output gamma. We're gonna convert it to ARRI log C and boom. If you do Control shift w you're going to see that that image is just so much flatter now. It's kind of like you shot it in log, even though Mavic Air doesn't have log setting. So from here, what we're going to do is go to the third node. You're going to right click, you're going to open a LUT, 3D LUT, and you go to Airy, Airy Log C, the Reg 709. You're going to click that, and boom. Just like that, you got a little bit of contrast. We're going to do Alt two for the after and we're going to delete this and we'll do a alt one so we, i can go control two is the after and this is before right so obviously we need to add a lot more contrast to this scene this is the before this is after i'm just flipping uh there i'm just flipping in between so now what do we do well we're going to do is go to this end scene here and we're going to do control one control two right the one we're working on has less contrast, so we're gonna go ahead and fix that. So what do we do? We go to the node one, we're gonna go to the color, primary wheels, and we're just gonna add a little bit of contrast to that, just like so. And then we're gonna use the pivot tool, so you can tell where you contrast, where you want your contrast to be, to be, not to be. Okay. And after that, after node three, you're gonna create another node, go to the primary wheels, and he's gonna stretch this out to where you want it to be. In the same way with your uh, shadows here. All right, so we're gonna do Alt two again. So we're gonna do the before and after, before, after, before, after, before, after. And that's really it. I mean, you can crush the mids a little bit more if you wanna get moody with it. Should be a song, get moody with it. But overall, that's, a, that's how I start with my DJI Mavic Air footage, just like that. I mean, I, I do a, a more stuff, but basically what you wanna do is transform your Rec. 709 to every log C because you can do other things from there. So let's go ahead and control F, go back. And that's a little bit oversaturated in my opinion, so I would probably turn down the saturation a little bit. So if I go to Control uh, Alt S again to create another node, we'll move that over, and I'm just gonna drop the maybe saturation down to like 45, before and after. You can see in his pants, right there. You go. That's a little bit better, and there it is. That is absolutely amazing. All right. Okay. So if you guys have any questions, let me know, and I'll see you guys later.